copying an image, first I turn this image of a puppy into a grayscale image by going image, mode, grayscale. I just click that and it just turned it to black and white. It will ask you to flatten any layers if you've already made some, um, and that's okay. Um, once you turn it to grayscale, you're going to do image, mode, bitmap. Um, pretty much what bitmap does is it takes it gets away all any like middle gritty gradient and it turns it into a strictly black and white image and this can be helpful for illustrative qualities or I use it a lot for when I screen print making um, transparencies to burn onto screens um, so I'm going to show you guys what each of these do 50% threshold gives you um, just a solid black of like a mid-tone. Um, the output, you can play around with this. Um, it depends on your image quality and like the size of your image. So you can also play around with that um, on your own. I'm not gonna touch that too much. I'm gonna press OK. You can see it gives you just one solid color or one solid chunk of black. And if you control Z, I'll show you what each one does. Image mode bitmap. I'm going to go to Pattern Dither, press OK, and it gives you this weird, interesting textural quality. Um, it just depends on what you're trying to use the image for. So if you press Control Z, go back to your image, Image Mode Bitmap, going to Diffusion Dither. This is a more naturalistic version. See, it's only it's just a collection of black dots, essentially. It takes away your true gradient, creates it into a black and white image. Image mode bitmap. Oops. Halftone screen. This is the one I use mostly for um, screen printing. This is just further um, edits. This is the shape of your dot, so you can go round, diamond, ellipse, line, square, and cross. Frequency, that's another um, number amount that I'm not going to screw around with. It just kind of plays with the amount of dots on the image. See how it's a little bit different than the other one I just showed you. I think it's more of a systematic way rather than a naturalistic output. Go back. And the last one is custom pattern. This is um, where you can pretty much input a pattern and it will use it will use that pattern to create that half tone. But I think it it kind of takes its own quality. But yeah, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.